Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is week number six and it is February 1st and uh, I just got a new appliance. And as you can tell by the title of this video, it's more than just for cooking waffles. It can actually do pancakes. Here it is. It's called the Cuisinart Breakfast Central for those of you guys that do not already know. And as I said, it's basically a waffle iron, but as I open it up, it also has pancake plates and it is, they are also removable and the plates can, can go in the dishwasher. So you can see that one's the upper half. You press the button and it lifts up and you can see the heating element that powers the whole thing as well. So there's a little behind the scenes on how everything is going to be cooked to perfection. Now, I wish I could show you the waffle plates. I will leave that for another video, but I'm just going to put these back in because in today's video, we're actually going to be making some pancakes. And I'm going to be using a vegan batter recipe. Actually, um, here's a little sneak peek at the waffle plates. And once again, I will bring that up in another video. But as I said, I'm going to put that bottom plate back in because in this video, we're going to be making some pancakes. And it's a vegan batter recipe, and then I'll show you guys some garden being cooked on here as well. So it'll be a lovely morning here. And we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, everybody. So the first thing obviously is to um, add your flour. Flour is the base ingredient. And I use about one and a half cups, but you can actually adjust that accordingly to how much of a crowd you're gonna be preparing for. I'm just preparing for a few people, but I'm just saying you can adjust the quantity if you want to. The next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be prepping the margarine. So um, margarine is a common substitute for butter. And the way you do that is that you um, plop some chunks into a microwave safe mug. Um, microwave it for about 45 seconds and uh, let it stand in the microwave so that it's completely melted. While that is going, we are going to be adding our half a cup of almond milk. Almond milk is one of the binding ingredients. After the almond milk, we're going to be adding half a cup of arrowhead to our recipe. And now that that is going in, we're going to prepare for the other two binding ingredients. I should have said wet ingredients for those two. These are the binding ingredients. We're going to be doing two tablespoons of maple syrup. And once again, you can adjust that amount accordingly. Who loves to top maple syrup on waffles? Why not put it in your batter? That's what I'm going to do. And then finally, we're going to have a tablespoon of agave nectar. All right, everybody. Um, coming up next, we have um, the salt. You can adjust this accordingly. You can choose to measure it up to like half a teaspoon, or you can just shake it in. And then you're going to want to get the melted margarine out of the microwave. There's the red mug that I used to melt that. Stir it up a little bit and then just pour it in. And just like that, we're ready to beat all the ingredients together. You can use a whisk or if you want to really save time and possibly get charged extra on your energy bill, you can use a um, electric mixer. Uh, do you remember to observe the peak time hours though? Luckily, the mornings are usually off peak in my area, so I'm off the hook, but um, they, they may differ in your area. And with that being said, we're going to go ahead and preheat our waffle iron. So before we preheat, I want to show you guys the garden that we're doing today. Garden is a portmanteau of garden and protein. Um, it's basically um, a vegan variation of various um, protein products. 
So it's plant-based protein, basically. And today's plant-based protein is breakfast patties. I found these at Target, but they also have them at Whole Foods and basically anywhere where they um, carry plant-based protein. It'll differentiate on what's in your area. I'm just naming the stores that are in my area that have carried it. So let's go ahead and preheat it. Um, there are six settings. Um, ideally, if you're cooking pancakes or the garden patties, you will want to do it at setting number four, but you can use any setting level um, for the waffles. So if you want them to be um, more soft or if you want them to be crispy or more of that satisfying just right. And those are the tongs that we're going to be using to pull the pancakes off the uh, machine appliance when they are all done. So, And I'm just demonstrating that the handle, it's basically cool to the touch the whole time. It's not like the same aluminum that's like on the other parts of it. But let's go ahead and fast forward to about a few minutes later and then it should be ready. A few minutes later. All right, it is ready. Now, before we begin, especially this is this I filmed this the very first time I plugged this thing in and put it to the test. So basically, even if it's the first time, I'm going to be quote unquote seasoning the plates. And the way you do that is you lift it open and brush it with some olive oil. Now do be very careful because it is completely hot right there. And nobody wants to continue their day with burnt fingers and have a bunch of scars around it. Trust me, that is probably one of the worst days of my life. I once had a burn scar like uh, from accidentally coming into contact with the oven. And I'm just going over the lower plates and next I'm going to be doing the upper plate. This is to ensure that it does indeed stay non-stick. You can also use cooking spray but I just brush it. And plus it's dishwasher safe, so um, it'll wash away with the dishwashing uh, detergents. And with that being said, we're going to go ahead and do with our ladle. Once that's all leveled out, we're going to go ahead and put it in one of the slots. There goes the first one. And the, the batter size that I made had space for, I'd say about 11 or t 10, 11 or 12-ish of these. This is like the typical four inch pancake size that most batter recipes, like when you get a pre-mix like pancake mix, that's usually the diameter that they go by. Uh, I don't know how many centimeters that would be, but I'm just saying what it says on the packages I usually get, so that's how I'm going to look at that. If I know what 4 inches is in centimeters, I will put that like right about now. So now you guys know about that one. So we're going to go ahead and come back in a few minutes and we're going to be showing you guys the finished pancakes. All right, it's five minutes later. So it's time to bring it over. And I can tell you that actually has an auditory alert so you can literally hear if it's ready. So there goes number one. And there's no flipping required. You can just pull them off. They See, they all jumbled together. So I literally had to split them apart. It's something the tongs cannot handle. So here goes the next one. And I didn't want to film putting all of the pancakes in, so I just went straight on to the, um, that's why you see the garden 
plant-based protein patties going on. These are, the, these are the breakfast patties. And let me tell you guys, they do actually kind of taste similar to sausage patties. And they are certified vegan and also um, are suitable for a bunch of other diets with all their little symbols on the package. And trust me, um, c cooking these was pretty much the most time that I had to wait for. Like, it took about, like, seven-ish or so minutes. So, I'm not going to do a time card and just say that I'm going to go all the way over to where it um, finishes up. So... Let's go ahead and pull it up. Ta-da! And ta-da! So I'm going to go ahead and put those onto another serving plate. And then, of course, I'll plate everything later. The plating will not be shown, but I'll show you how to plate them for serving, no, like buffet style. So now that everything is done, um, we're going to go ahead and shut the thing off and then let it cool before you put the plates into the dishwasher. And here is um, all the pancakes. Um, that's pretty much all the pancakes that it had capacity for at the batter size that I did make. So there's that, and ta-da! Breakfast is served. Alright everybody, thank you guys so much for watching that video. You know, over the years, technology has changed so much. So the term of the week is innovation. And there's three definitions for it. There's a new method, idea, or possibly a product. So an example would be smartphones are an evolution from cell phones. As in they have a touch screen, you can swipe through it and etc. 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 And the second definition is improving on a design, like especially in engineering. So an example in that would be the appliance you just show, you just saw in that video that was shown in it. Um, basically, that one, it's basically a waffle iron, but there were pancake plates in there as well. So now you can literally cook up pancakes. Um, without having to use the, the griddle as much. And the third one is a dance show that operated in like 2015-ish or something. Can't say when in that year, but that was about five years ago. And it's not like EDM. It's more like the performance like dancing. Like if you've seen the evolution of dance on TikTok... Like, if you search that up, then you can see innovation that way. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you guys next week.